That's unfortunate. you now this is really low I never imagined anything so gruesome in all my days unlucky you won't be needing that Folks okay? Oh, just fantastic. I just saw my daughter get eaten by some creature sent straight from hell. Thanks for asking. I'm kind of sorry I did. Sorry, mister. Forgive my wife. We've suffered terribly. What's going on? Well, it's the government's fault. Ain't it always? Well, they let in too many foreigners. Just shut the goddamn border or things like this happen. My daughter was just some satanic demon's lunch because of the goddamn government. And I pay my taxes. Well, usually. I think we may be moving a little off topic here. I ain't a wise man, but I have done a little traveling. These creatures ain't like any foreigners I've ever seen. Thanks for the input, cowpoke. Oh, I got flesh-eating monsters feasting on my family, and I'm taking advice about tolerance from a gunslinger. What in the world has my life come to? And my daddy told me I never should have gotten married. This is all your fault, you, you useless man. Oh, not now, Doreen. 
Not this again. <laughs> Your daddy was a, a bully and a drunk. Well, you ain't no kind of man! <laughs> Listen! <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt your happy reminiscence. Is there anything I can do to help? Have you got any idea of how we can survive? Well, you could try shooting them creatures, you dumb fool. Ma'am, it's been a real pleasure. Sir, you're a man of great patience. See? That fella ain't hiding away like a little girl who's wet herself. I thought we agreed we should stick together. <laughs> so we're just gonna stay up here till we either starve or have to eat each other? What do you want me to do? I ain't God. One of them, mister? Do I look like one of them? Well, don't come no closer. We made that mistake before, lost half our number. I ain't one of them, you fool. Well, how do I know? They can't speak. Well, I ain't taking no chances. Kill him, he's one of them! Yeah. No, I ain't. Don't take no chances, Silas. Have it your way, all right? Listen. I ain't coming no closer. Do you know what's going on? It's the glass eye. The freak with a glass eye, he caused this! No, 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 it's the snake oil man. These poor folks have been drugged. I blame the Mexicans. They haven't been struck down. All right, we heard a lot of stories, mister. Some say it's a moon, some say it's drugs. Hey, don't come no closer now, stand back! Apparently it's worse in New Austin. Must be where it came from. It looks like I'm headed down to New Austin. Did one of you say snake oil? It's the glass eye! I blame the Mexicans. Oh. Connie McTavish, you don't know nothing. You always was an ignorant shrew. I bet your husband's glad he's dead. <gasps> well, at least my husband never took favors from the stargazers, Lucille Billingsgate. You say you're sorry, you hillbilly white trash! Yeah, yeah, now how are we gonna rebuild America like this? Now, see, I thought we had it all decided. We was gonna be kind and gentle and pay homage to our leader. Who happens to be me? Sounds like you folks have this all worked out. Have yourself a fine America. And good luck. We never had that decided. We decided we would hold elections and that I would be leader. You can't even read! Well, I, I got gravity! Well, I mean, gravy. I mean, uh, folk respect me. I am the new king, Archibald Andrews. Me! Now pay huh? <laughs> What am I doing here? What have you got for me, miss? Come on. Please don't spit on me. Oh! 
lady. Damn this godforsaken shithole! You freaks are starting to annoy me! God damn it! Seth. Seth, you okay? What's going on? Oh, hey there, John. Fancy a game of cards? Not right this minute. You remember Moses, John. He's... He's, 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 a, he's a darn sight more loyal now than he was before. <laughs> uh, come here, boy. Come on. Come here, boy. What are you doing? We were boyhood friends, John. Moses is having a tough time right now. Ain't you, pal? What's going on? We're playing cards. Relax, sit down. I mean, with the undead walking the face of the earth, you crazy dumb bastard. That ain't nothing. Ain't nothing? I've seen husbands eating wives. Mothers eating sons. Graves popping open and the undead rising up. It sure as shit is something. Oh, boo-hoo. Big tough John Marson is scared of a little undead creature walking around. Moses wouldn't hurt a fly, would you, darling? Besides, this ain't nothing new. Folks in Blackwater blaming it on that glass eye you found. Folks! 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 Damn them folks, John Marston! Damn them! And damn you! Get them! Get them, Moses! Get them! After all I've done for you, Seth, and I thought loyalty was important to you. You can't hurt me. Moses, get them. Go! Yeah. Get them! Get me, Moses. Looks like your dog's lost his bite, Seth. Now, what the hell's going on? The dead have risen, and a virulent plague is turning people into flesh eating crazies. What the hell you think's going on, genius? But why? But why? 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 Why not? Why not? <laughs> why the hell not? Because it ain't natural. Who made you Mother Nature and Mother Superior all at the same time? Who made you, John Marston? Same as made me, same as made Moses. Is there a cure? <sighs> These things tend to fade away. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you should go clear the graveyards. Either that, or stop worrying and become one of them. Now, if you excuse us, we got good times to remember. Happy times. Okay. See you soon then, Seth. Come on, Moses. It's your deal. Diamonds are trumps. Come on. Yes! 
there's a safe town nearby. Can you take me? All right, jump on. It ain't safe out here. I left you there, you'd be drilling from the mouth by now. Yeah!
Thank you. <laughs>